the Huda of the horizon. At any shore, on any landmass, be at the beach at exactly 6.08 p.m. on any day. If you've done everything right, then you should be alone, and the sky should fade into twilight despite the time of year or the place on earth you've elected for your search. Once the sun sets, make sure you are walking one direction along the shoreline. If you stop for any reason, something, you will never know what, will leap from the waves and drag you to a cold and lonesome eternity of silent suffocation. The same will happen if you ever look to your feet at any time during the journey. Eventually, if you are patient, an elderly, weather-beaten man with deeply wrinkled skin and sparkling eyes will appear beside you. Ask the man to point you to the one who calls himself the Holder of the Horizon. The man will give you an expectant expression and gesture you in a direction. You must walk in this direction without ever looking at your feet. In time, you will see a city in the distance. It is guaranteed to be the most terrifying image you will ever see, for the architect of the city is madness itself. If the sun begins to rise, it is advisable to either stop walking or look at your feet, but only because the fate of the thing from the waves is preferable to the one awaiting you. If the sun stays hidden, you must continue to walk in the direction the weather-beaten man has pointed you. If you have not strayed, the city will come no closer and will disappear into the distance once again. Once the city is well behind you, fatigue will settle in. Your bones will feel like rotting wood and your muscles like breaking cords. But do not give in. Do not stop walking. Do not bow your head. No matter how weak your body gets, don't worry. It means you are heading in the right direction. Finally, once your last drop of strength has left you, the weather-beaten man will catch you in his arms before you fall. You will be too weak to ask him anything with your words, but you must somehow convey the question, Where will they lead us? To the weather-beaten man. If you do not, you will die from your exhaustion. If he has understood, he will lay you upon the floor and answer your question in a brief, concise manner, though he may reveal more to you then you can stand. After this, he will lift you up and hand you a spyglass. What you see through the spyglass is object 537 or 538. It alone can guide you in the right direction.